I believe uh, that we're, we're really at the beginning phase of this transition uh, to electric drive transportation for our vehicles. And we're seeing that uh, today with uh, the hybrid electric vehicles, which are very popular uh, here in Vermont. Most, if not all, major auto manufacturers have announced plans to uh, bring plug-in hybrids and electric vehicles to the market. Over the years, uh, we've been looking at this concept which has become known as vehicle to grid. As tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of vehicles are connecting to the electric power system, we've been looking at these vehicles as not only charging from the grid, but also providing power back to the grid during periods of emergencies or during uh, regular operation to maintain the reliability of the power system. In more long term, uh, we've been looking at these uh, grid-connected cars as providing storage for intermittent resources such as wind and solar. One thing that we've looked at uh, through our work with the University of Vermont's Transportation Research Center is to figure out how many vehicles could the Vermont grid support without having to build new power plants or to build more transmission and distribution lines. If you can um, delay the charging of plug-in hybrids or electric vehicles to the evening and early morning hours, that uh, the Vermont electric grid could support a large number of vehicles, uh, 100,000, 200,000 plug-in hybrids or electric vehicles without having to uh, purchase or build new power plants. Transportation is a huge challenge. But I do believe um, that plug-ins and electric vehicles are, are an exciting part of the solution and I believe it's going to be here much quicker than people actually anticipate.